hi single virgo and welcome back today i'll be channeling messages focusing on your new year 2022 love reading but before i begin let me introduce myself my name is alexa tarot and i am a second degree reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader i want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers my new viewers and visitors alike thank you so much for your support i look forward to continuing to channel messages for you throughout the new year today i'll be focusing on your love life and now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take a look at the the new year of 2022 and i'm going to in a way divide okay the calendar into quarters so i'm going to be taking a look at what energies are coming in for you single virgos in regards to love in this new year 2022 i'm going to first take a look at your first quarter and that being january february march of 2022 followed up by april may june of 2022 july august september of 2022 and last but not least your last quarter being october november december of 2022 now these messages may not resonate right away they may take time for you to see its connection or its evolution in your timeline these are not timeless uh readings these readings are specifically being channeled for those quarters um through uh, for you know through those quarters of 2022 okay now if you are unable to watch this um these messages in, in their entirety you could always take a look down below in the description box i have placed timestamps there for you which will be easier for you not only to just pick up where you may have left off but also take a look throughout uh you know the year 2022 and see how things are unfolding for you okay so as the new year unfolds for you you could always come back and see what quarter you need to just refresh your memory or kind of see what's going on energetically so let's start with january february march of 2022 for single virgos so what do we have here for single virgos for love all right so you have here the ace of cups very nice beginning here for the new year and of course virgo you have your own a card coming in for you virgo okay which is the hermit very interesting here all right so what uh let me just put it right here because we're still going to use these throughout the reading all right so with the ace of cups for some of you single virgos this is a very positive um connection that may be coming in your way okay so there is some sense here of emotional growth spiritual growth for others of you this is a beginning or a new beginning to a romance okay so to either you know someone that you may meet someone that you may fall in love with someone falling in love with you but this is very uh, a very uh, good energy a very good card to start um, this reading with okay this is a new beginning in love okay something that's going to um, allow or increase this overflowing of emotions from your heart okay now for others of you um, this ace of cups uh, may just be an indication here that there is some type of emotional growth that will be happening here during the first quarter now when I mean emotional growth is you're going to in a way be in this hermit energy okay now the hermit is an earth element here okay we're talking about virgo we're talking about mercury here as the ruling planet that says a lot with communication as well so many of you will be thinking about something in the past some type of wisdom that you uh, may have in a way uh, learned from okay maybe something here from the past the hermit is looking here at my left hand side and that is the past so there may be here some moments here throughout this first quarter where you're in a way analyzing you're in this critical stage of analyzing either lessons learned in love or um, this feeling of quieting the mental clutter in order to in a way reevaluate either your perception or your ideas or your values in regards to love for some of you, I feel here that this new beginning with someone is going to, in a way, be um, this energy of a lot of communication, okay? Um, 
Now, I say that because the, uh, the Hermit card is uh, the ruling planet is Mercury, and Mercury is about communication, is about um, being very uh, mentally savvy, okay? Being able to be quit wit, you know, kind of energy. Although the Hermit card in itself is kind of in this quiet, contemplative uh, uh, demeanor, okay? As you see here, there is this sense of enlightenment in that lantern, okay? And that could be here an indicator that there may be this in a way flash of light or this light at the end of the tunnel here for you in regards to love let's take a look here at what other messages uh will come through here for you uh single virgos for the new year 2022 the first quarter january february march of 2022 so very beautiful start here um for you in this new year in regards to love I'm feeling here it's like you're being gifted either an experience, an opportunity, okay, um, as well, an opportunity, maybe an opportunity that you've been thinking about for a very long time or hoping or wishing. Um, and, you know, as, you're, as you've been thinking or been contemplating about your love life, it's like you're being gifted a, a new opportunity or a new beginning in romance. For others of you, again, I'm feeling that this is an emotional growth that you have or will be going through during this first quarter especially here with the hermit card let's take a look here at the next card coming in for you and you have here the four of swords remember that i was talking about that mental clutter well the four of swords here is this mental mental overload okay um that you will be taking a break from the four of swords is rest it's 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 trying to get your um your mental energies in check here now and the way that this is going to happen here for you it's either a you're going to quiet the mental clutter okay by either a being in a more meditative state being more in a quiet state trying to think and analyze and reevaluate certain situations here now with the four of swords i feel here that yes there is this sense of solitude going within really taking a break in order to either one or two things number one go through this emotional growth period during this first quarter or for some of you it's this new love or this new person that may be coming in and that new start in love will in a way again like i said quiet the mind okay quiet the mind here for you um single uh, virgo here let's take a look here at what other messages are coming in for you for this first quarter january february and march of 2022 Okay, let's take a look here at your next card. All right, so for the next quarter, you have control and you have support. Now, I feel here with control, remember, there's this con sense of control in controlling what is either flowing from your mind or this over analytical energy, okay? So I feel here, especially with the Four of Swords, okay? taking a break taking a nap okay remember here that i was feeling here with this hermit card this sense of mental clutter and just analyzing or in a way uh, gaining the wisdom that you need in order to see love in a different way or to in a way experience this new beginning or this emotional growth in a different way I feel here for some of you that during this first quarter, you're going to take control over your mind. You're going to take control. It's like you're going to uh, uh, pull the reins back on this over analytical thinking or over analyzing or overthinking certain things in regards to love. I feel here with this Ace of Cups and the support card, this new beginning could mean here that there will be someone here coming into your energy field or you may meet someone okay maybe someone that you may already know maybe someone new but this ace of cups is all about this new beginning this new inspiration love relationships okay the growth of something the renewal of something okay something that is going to strike you in the heart all right something that's going to in a way 
uh, create this emotional overflow of positive emotions okay let's take a look here at this first quarter for single uh, virgos what other details are coming in for you for this first quarter january february march of 2022 and i feel here that this control this four of swords it's like you're going to take control of what was um what you may he be here during this first quarter may be over analyzing and this four source is all about taking a nap taking a mental break and in a way that is how in a way i feel here that a lot of you are going to take control of your uh love life you're going to either control the situation or control this um habit um or a past self-sabotaging thought or fear or fear-based ideas that you may have in regards to your mind and in regards to the things that you feel um have to do with your love life okay because this ace of cups is all about something new okay this may be a new way you're going to be thinking about love it could be a new perspective it could be just this a uh, new person coming in or a new start um in love with a a person that you either may know already or a person that is new in the scene uh here in your love life okay let's take a look here all right so yeah you have romantic feelings and it it is one of those things that this is called confirmation card right this is one of the things that i was uh, picking up here with the ace of cups if you take a look at these two people it's mutual okay so this uh, ace of cups this overflowing of emotions here are a mutual okay uh energy that i'm feeling here here romantic love says uh romantic feeling says your feelings are real and worth exploring so during this first quarter there may be feelings here of uh, romance okay a ma magnetic attraction being uh, attracted to someone having some type of chemistry like i said uh, for some of you this may be someone brand new okay because this is the ace of cups the ace is all about new beginnings okay so there's could be this in a way the universe handing over to you gifting to you an opportunity here in regards to love now remember earlier i was talking about here being able to control um your thoughts here okay especially here with the four swords and this control card and that in a way here the hermit card is uh you in a way kind of um what i'm feeling here is like learning things uh in regards to love you know maybe from your past experiences maybe things that you have gone through and now you're in a way taking a different approach or a different way of looking at the past now here the reason why i recap that is because you have the next card here as it is safe for you to love so for some of you you may have you may have been or you may be during this period thinking a lot about safeguarding your emotions okay there may have been here something in your past or recent past that in a way you kind of want to guard or you want to protect uh, your heart and it says here open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so in other in, in other words in order for you to experience this eight of uh, ace of cups here it's going to require you here during this first quarter uh single virgos to allow your heart to open is it's going to um require you to have to be able to not only give love but be able to also receive the type of romance affection chemistry in return just like you have here in these romantic feelings card okay again it says here their feelings are worth exploring so some of you may in a way like i said may have to take control of how you are thinking or your past perspective or values or the way you were thinking about love prior to either meeting this person or having a new opportunity in love all right i feel here that this is going to be a very supportive partnership or very supportive friendship or a union here for you let's take a look here at your last deck what else um, am i seeing here Whoop. 
Wow, empowerment. All right, so this popped up for you here. You have empowerment. It's like you have the opportunity, you have the ability, single Virgo, in order to see things in a new way. Only you can make certain changes and only you are able to, in a way, provide the navigation okay and kind of in a way set those sails so that you're able to get to this ace of cups one way to do it okay so this ace of cups is overflowing emotion one way to do it is to listen to your intuition okay you see this big moon behind this person okay this person's had now I'm getting intuition for some of you for others of you it's all about this hermit card remember that I talked about this lantern being lit and it's like there's this new awareness that you're going to either experience through a person okay maybe this new person that's coming in for you for others of you it's gonna be a new awareness in regards to your emotional growth you're growing here emotionally and seeing things in a different way that you did before let's take a look here uh, Virgo at your next uh, time frame here okay and that your next quarter is let's see that was April I'm sorry that was January February March now we're going into April May and June so let's take a look here what energies are coming in for single Virgos here for April May and June of 2022 so they're telling me here to take one card of this and one card of these so let's let's see all right that's what i'm being guided to do let's take a look here the first card is the empress very beautiful card here a lot of growth venus energy here so definitely um this is all about either the love growing here okay about abundance about prosperity here with the empress card now i'm not saying this is um a taurus or a libra coming in but for some of you that may be the case here with this empress card for others of you the empress card is all about what you the energy you're going to be embodying here okay and now the empress is very much earth energy here okay so this is a partner orientated card okay um i feel here for a lot of you there is a sense of growth there is the sense of growth in regards to love now for others of you it is this emotional growth that we're talking about uh, from the first quarter for others of you here this is a union of two people to create something more and the reason why I'm saying that is because here you have the Empress card and she is pregnant okay so that is the energy here of the Empress card now for some of you this may be the case you know you may be um, you know uh, in this period you know very uh, fertile okay in that in that regard okay for others of you here I'm feeling that the Empress is all about the growth of something now the growth of love the growth of a connection the growth of a partnership here now the growth is not going to happen overnight the Empress energy is a slow moving energy in order for things to grow such as the plants such as the wheat okay such as the things that are the vegetation around her this takes time okay and uh, let's take a look here at your next card coming in for you here a uh, single Virgo for April May June of 2022 so you have here the three of swords I see things exactly as they are and you're also going to move forward with this chariot so even though you may have had prior experiences um, Virgo of pain and suffering of uh, of some of you of you know just pain heartaches loss here it's like you're going to move past it okay you're going to move past it here with this chariot card and chariot is this strong feelings that you're going to feel here with this chariot of taking a new direction it's like you're going away during this period here of April May June it's like you're pushing yourself away from whatever sense of loss heartache that you may be feeling or there may be residual now for others of you this may be the residual thoughts okay that you may be experiencing at this time there may be there may be here a trigger that may have caused or created some type of um remembering of that pain but you're pushing yourself forward here with this char chariot card you're moving past it and when you move past it i feel here 
for you, Virgo. That's the reason here that you have the Empress, because this is the dominant or predominant energy here for you. How are you going to grow things? Well, by moving past the pain, suffering, or the residual memory that you may have about something that may be either occurring here or some residual energy that may pop up or spark up during this second quarter. Let's take a look here at one more card for more clarity. We have three more decks to go through. I feel here, uh, single Virgos, we're going to take a, a while here for this reading, but definitely I want to be as specific as I can in order to give you the energies as they're coming in for you for the second quarter. All right, so you have here... What? Okay, so it's judgment. I was like, what is going on here? So you have judgment in reverse. Remember that I was talking to you here about um, this three of swords energy, okay? The, the residual uh, either hurt or pain or something that may trigger this memory of being hurt in the past. Now here with the judgment card in reverse, there's this sense of you don't want to repeat the same mistakes that you did in the past. You don't want to repeat whatever um, whatever may have created this Three of Swords energy or whatever may be or will be creating this Three of Swords energy during the second quarter, April, May, June. Okay, that's what the re uh, Judgment in Reverse is all about. Let's take a look here at the next deck. What other energies are coming in for you for... April, May, June of 2022. You have here memories, basically what I was saying before. There may be here residual memories. Something may be happening here for you, single Virgos, during this time. This is just a confirmation of what I just said earlier. There may be some residualness here having to do with this Three of Swords energy, okay? Now, Three of Swords is uh, arguments from the past, okay? Or maybe an argument that could be sparked here um, during this quarter. It could be just differences of opinion, all right? There could be here this uh, memory of either a divorce, a separation, or a breakup here that in a way you need to move past or you will be moving past in order for you to uh, again gain or be in or completely embody this energy of the empress of abundance of prosperity when it comes to love let's take a look at the next deck here what other information do we have here for single virgos Okay, we're going to take one card from here. All right, so you have worth waiting for. Some of you may have, remember that I was saying this early, to, uh, earlier to, especially here in the first quarter, that's what I was channeling. This person with the Ace of Cups may be someone that you know. Okay, this may be a person you may have had history with. Not for everyone, but for some of you, that may be the case. You have past life uh, past life relationship here for others of you this person that's coming in for you in regards to this ace of cups energy in the first quarter reappears here in the second quarter there may be a feeling here of familiarity between you and that person here okay this is perhaps maybe for wow not only do you have a uh you know past life relationship but you also have the soulmate card right behind it that's saying a lot here this person uh, for some of you that you may be meeting could be a person that you feel a sense of familiarity with now for some of you it may be someone that you had history with a past with maybe a friend from the past maybe there was a connection here you guys broke up went your separate ways and it may be coming back again now again that's not for all of you but definitely here if it's a person that's new it's a person that you're going to feel a sense of familiarity with if it's a person that you already dated in the past this may be a renewal here that's starting with you here during the first quarter and in a way um, uh, you know unfolding here during the second quarter especially if it was a relationship from the past 
that um, had broken up in the past, either through separation, divorce, or just breaking up, okay? And in a way, you don't want to repeat the same mistake, okay? So that's what uh, this judgment in reverse is all about. Let's take a look here at the last deck. Um, for others of you, this may be a new experience, okay? Um, but again, I'm feeling here for some of you, this is someone that there is some type of memories connected to um, for some of you. They may want a second chance here. Um, let's see what else comes out for you here with this last deck. What other energies are coming in for single Virgos in regards to their love life for 2022? Now, again, for others of you, this is a new person, but there's a feeling of uh, remembrance here with them. All right, so you have your truth, exploring the truth, taking a look at the reality of the situation. Now, very interesting. Um, you also have here dreams. This person is maybe someone that you've been dreaming about, hoping for. For others of you, it's just that you're still hoping and wishing and calling in um, the sense of love here. Now, the reason why I find this truth card very interesting is because here with the Three of Swords, it says, I see things exactly as they are. I feel here that there's going to be some sense of awareness, some sense of understanding here of either why this three of swords is here for you okay meaning heartache loss okay uh remembrance of uh just remembering of past discussions maybe arguments uh hurt and pain here that may have stemmed from uh maybe another time or maybe here that this may be happening here um during this time period there are definitely hurt feelings here and i feel here that with this truth card this is like understanding why these things happened for some of you it's a memory that um you're going to understand okay the memory of this situation there's going to be some type of either clarity or truth that will be revealed in order for you to understand okay in order for you to understand that you need to you know work your way past this energy you need to understand why it happens in the first place you some of us okay me included sometimes you go back and think about a relationship that didn't work okay that doesn't mean that you need to go back to the person but in looking at what didn't work in that relationship you learn what you shouldn't do in a current one all right or how you can improve a current one okay and especially for some of you who may be going backward reconnecting with someone from the past this is talking about really looking at the truth of the matter why is it that things broke up in the first place why was this sense of quarreling why was this argument what were these differences of opinion what was those clashes that created either the breakup separation or divorce in a past relationship and it's really looking at that and exploring in order for you to then grow okay here with this empress card let's take a look here at your uh next quarter okay and that's going to be here um july august september whoa okay so i haven't even started and you have wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles all right so i'll take that and then i'll take another one from here so wheel of fortune things changing moving wow six of pentacles uh, energy give and take wow things are just flying off the decks here so you have here the wheel of fortune all right for july august september you also have the ace of pentacles great opportunity coming your way and you also have the six of pentacles now when it comes to love here uh single uh virgos i feel here that there's going to be a new uh it kind of like a free spin right this the universe fate giving you a free spin here with this wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is fire element okay it's all about the jupiter uh, planet it's of abundance it's the gate opener all okay? right it's a positive spin a an expansion of some sort that's coming in your direction a break a lucky break for some of you it's like 
things have realigned and in a way giving you something back, giving you an opportunity. All right. So I'm not going to pick it up because I'm going to I'm going to show you here because you guys could see it here. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Pentacles. OK, it's like the universe is giving you a free opportunity or a free spin. All right. A very a lucky break here that is being offered to you. OK, so op opportunities may be coming in your direction. Now, this opportunity, of course, we're looking at it in the love sector. So this could be an opportunity for you to have a relationship or a connection that is more equal. OK, here with the six of pentacles, six, six of pentacles, an equal give and take two people giving the same. OK, towards the same goal, seeing the same thing, moving in the same trajectory and both giving equal value and equal energy to this um, to this dream, to this hope, to this relationship. OK, here with the six of pentacles, it says I give and receive for the universal good for others of you. This is just you getting what you give. OK, now it doesn't necessarily mean that you will be with someone or there's, you know, a connection here for others of you. This is all about whatever you give to the universe, whatever energy you express, whatever energy you send out, whatever vibration you send is what's coming back to you. And it's very interesting because here with the wheel of fortune, I always say the wheel of fortune is energy. So whatever energy you put in is what you're going to get out. And here, as long as you stay and remain in this high vibrational energy, there will be here opportunities for you for the taking a new opportunity in something of value here with the Ace of Pentacles. OK, and whatever this may be in love, whether this is you meeting someone, whether this is, again, an expansion here from what is already present here from uh, the first quarter and the second quarter is just expanding into something even more that expansion may include here an equal give and take okay between you and a partner let's take a look here at what other energies are coming in for you in regards to your love life for july august september All right, you have here the four of coins. Yeah, there's this sense of you wanting to secure, okay? Wanting to secure this either relationship that's gonna be valuable for you, or you're going to want to secure this sense of opportunity. It's like you wanna grab that opportunity and you don't wanna let it go. All right, let's take a look here at this next deck. Single Virgos, what other energies are coming in for you for July? August and September of 2022. All right, so you have here freedom. Again, the sense of realization here, a sense of awareness that's coming in during this quarter here. The sense of freedom, some of you may travel during this time. Others of you may feel very liberated. Again, because you allowed yourself to leave behind these lower vibrational energies of the Three of Swords here in this second quarter, there's going to be this sense of burden being uplifted or the, the, the weight on your shoulders being uplifted. It's like you're allowing yourself to escape whatever um, either thoughts, especially here, because um, I'm getting a lot of air energy, a lot of thoughts that may have been in a way either consuming you or in a way creating this cocoon type of energy. OK, and it's like you're letting yourself go. You're letting yourself fly. There's a sense of liberation here. Now, for others of you, maybe a liberation here of communication, you being able to communicate how you're feeling, what you're thinking, how uh, something is affecting you, how it's not affecting you, how things could get better especially here with this Ace of Pentacles, okay? Talking about these opportunities, thinking about these opportunities, maybe even traveling in order for you to uh, enjoy these opportunities that may be coming in your direction. I feel here that these opportunities, especially here with the Wheel of Fortune, they're going to come easily, okay? It's like there's this flowness that I'm feeling here with this Freedom card. It's just things are going to flow in this direction, okay? And you are going to be very, uh, very much 
focused on making sure that you hang on to this moment, right? This moment that the Wheel of Fortune is giving you, this moment that the Ace of Pentacles is going to bring to you. And again, this is all about the opportunity. Remember, this is an opportunity that may be coming in your direction. It's all up to you, single Virgos, if you're going to take it, right? And if you're going to maximize it. Because like I said, the Wheel of Fortune... The planet that rules the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, and that's all about abundance. It's all about expanding, doing things more, expanding more, so more love, more prosperity, more abundance. Even here, I'm hearing more of a commitment. So for others of you, you may be ascending some type of level of commitment here with someone during this period, okay? Let's take a look at the next deck. And you have, what do you have here? Retreat. What did I tell you guys? Didn't I tell you about travel? Well, retreat. Some of you will be traveling during this time or maybe making plans on traveling, okay? Now, for others of you, are going to, you're, you're going to take a moment, okay? Now, this moment could be one or two things. I'm getting two different um, messages here. If you are single during this period, this is talking about you disconnecting from the hustle and bustle okay of the everyday life you taking yourself a nice trip you're going to in a way um see things you know maybe experience new opportunities uh give yourself uh the type of r and r because maybe you've been working hard and now it's your time to receive some type of just you know vacation okay so that i'm seeing that as the give and take you've put so much energy into something of value that now it's your turn to take a vacation and a rest and get the rewards of that effort okay so that's for some of you for others of you that will be in a connection during this moment in time this is talking about to disconnect from the outside world and in a way give more either support in this connection or create more time so that you have more one-on-one -on -one time with the person that you are either uh, connecting with talking to or getting to know okay um i feel here that others of you may even go on a vacation with someone else someone that you feel um you know connected to during this time okay especially here with this freedom card again i was getting the sense of travel um being uh, outdoors kind of going out this free flowing energy and sometimes you know when we kind of get stuck in the hustle and bustle and the daily routines sometimes we disconnect from ourselves so this is also this time for you um single virgos to maybe even connect with yourself so that you are able to um in a way raise your vibration others of you here i just um i just channeled this message here for you guys Others of you may meet someone during this time, okay? You're on vacation, you think that you're just going out having some fun, and you may meet someone during this time, okay? So you may meet someone during your vacation or during moments, maybe even a staycation, during those moments that you are just taking a time for relaxation, okay? Let's take a look here at what other information is coming in for you. Single Virgos, and that is boundaries, okay? So here, I feel that you're going to create safe boundaries around yourself. Others of you are going to feel a more sense of inner alignment, all right, in regards to your love life, all right? Now, let's take a look here at the last quarter, all right, Virgo, and that is October, November, December of 2022. Let's take a look here at what energies we have coming in for single Virgo for 2022, last quarter of the year. October, November, December. All right, so we have the sun card, beautiful energy here. The sun card, this sense of uh, being revitalized, okay? The sense of um, what I'm feeling here is the success, the sense of completion, being a, I'm hearing liberation. So again, there, there may be this feeling here, feeling very open, very liberated, finally getting to the end of the tunnel, really seeing things for what they are and experiencing them in a high vibration here. Some of you may be in the spotlight and, and during this time, maybe your love life will be at a spotlight. And what I mean by that is that it will be at the forefront. Okay. So whether it is that you 
and a significant other are in a way um I feel like more like power couple. So some of you may kind of in a way get a lot of uh, looks and a lot of attention because you may be here with someone um, and your connection is just that type of, you know, kind of brings in that energy that just people look at you or people um, admire your connection here. For others of you, wow, Nine of Cups here, wish fulfillment, beautiful. So you guys have here Nine of Cups. I trust in the flow of life. And this flow is going to be very energetic here for you. Okay, single uh, Virgos, very energetic, very bright. Okay, at the center stage here is what I'm feeling. Let's take a look here. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, okay? Things that you've been wishing, hoping, praying for, maybe visualizing, and it coming in your direction. There's this feeling of contentment here. Be very happy. Happy, okay the Sun card is very happy very joyous very upbeat okay especially here with the nine of cups so there for some of you there may be this feeling here that something has come into fruition like the dots have been connected and remember that I said here especially with the Sun card that I felt that there's like finally you're at the end of the tunnel okay and you have here the three of wands in reverse now it looks like it's uh, not reverse to you but from where I'm sitting it's reverse and the three of wands I'm happy this came out here because this is talking about no more waiting okay it's in a way um it says here returning home okay now it says here uh, that on the card but again I channel intuitively what I'm feeling here is that with this three of wands in reverse is all about um allowing yourself to not have to wait any longer it's like you've taken this leap into into things that having to do or in, not things but into this um energy of your love life okay the three of wands when it is upright is all about waiting for the right opportunity to jump leap or grab an opportunity when it's in reverse it's coming in for me intuitively as there's no more waiting it's like you've unleashed yourself you've allowed yourself to uh, release yourself from whatever waiting that you were doing and I feel that this releasing yourself from that energy is what's going to cause um, here uh, with this nine of cups some type of wish fulfillment especially here with the Sun card this happy vibration it's like you're liberating yourself from either a thought idea or just you know just taking that leap and it's interesting because that's not the full card right which is uh, taking uh, taking a leap, uh, having the courage to move forward. It's not the full energy, but it's coming into me energetically. Like I'm feeling like poof, like jumping forward, like taking an opportunity, and that um, releasing and not waiting for something is what's going to, in a way, create the sense of happiness here during this period. Let's take a look here at your. Uh, next deck here you have influence okay you also have here soul connection that may be here uh, again you've gotten soul connection twice remember you had it here during your second quarter okay now you have it again here in your fourth quarter okay so it's very much um, if you look here it's just right across each other here all right so there there may be this soul connection this twin flame soul connection feeling here between you and someone okay I feel here that there's there was either or there will be here a lot of talking to each other all right a lot of um, I know it says influence but again I channel messages in, intuitively so for me this is just there's a lot of communication there's a lot of talking some of you may um, be in a long distance relationship okay when well, I'm getting here the ear as a person who's always on the phone um, and being spoken to someone and that's the clairvoyant message that I'm getting here for others of you it's just you've gotten to this point with this person where this significant other okay that you have leaped forward you feel like this is home like you're returning home and it makes sense because soul connection is about this intuitive remembrance with someone now again remember in the other debt in the other um 
uh, time frames here there may be someone here coming back from your past but for others of you this may be a new person that you're creating new memories with but there is this feeling of remembrance in your heart and in your soul okay that's why it's called soul connection you you don't know how to explain it because this person may be a new person but there's some type of remembrance or familiarity that you may have here um, after talking to each other a lot or having very deep um deep conversations with one another here during this time frame for others of you you may be going on vacation here during this time you may be away from your soul uh, connection here or from your twin flame others of you if you are in a uh in a long distance connection during this time this may be that you um will be seeing each other during this time as well let's take a look here at your next deck what other messages I'm so sorry, single Virgos, that this is so long, but yeah, free yourself. Remember that I was saying here, this mo this like, you know, expansion, this kind of leaping forward, this, even though that this is uh, the three of wands is in reverse, it's not the full card, but it's all about taking that leap. That's pretty much what it's telling you here, uh, single Virgos. It says, free yourself. It's time to take back the control of your life. And the way that you're going to take control of your love life here during this last um, section here, during this last quarter, is by allowing yourself to, um, in a way, cut the restrictions or come out of this tunnel or come out of this cocoon and really see that your wishes are being fulfilled here, okay? here with the nine of cups and the sun card because there's a lot of happiness here there's a lot of um not only happiness but there's this deep down emotional um satisfaction happening here for others of you ta -da -da -da, wedding so here this is talking about and i said this before um i feel in one of the um sections here for you that there's this feeling of ascension okay um this feeling of essential of commitment so a commitment being made for those for some of you this may be a time that you may either get proposed to or may even be talking with a significant other about them being the person that you may want to marry or they may want to marry you okay or some sense of deep commitment here if it's not marriage it's definitely like living together or there's this sense of it involves a um, a higher level of commitment here for some of you here during this last quarter and that is how it's going to be expressed there's going to be a lot of expression here of love so there's going to be a lot of showing you have soulmate here also wow beautiful um and that makes sense you also have soul connection here from another deck so yeah there's this feeling of really being over the moon about something having to do here with love for for some of you again i'm feeling that this could be um either an engagement either an as, uh, ascension or, or a higher level of commitment that has happened here and that in a way is going to be the gesture that's going to be shown either to you or you're going to show that gesture to someone else in regards to how serious this relationship is to you or how serious this relationship is to the other person let's take a look here at the last deck and we have for you single virgo willpower okay so willpower here you are going to push yourself forward you're going to either tap to your inner uh inner strength mental strength emotional strength okay you're going to feel here that you have the world is in your hands, okay, or on top of the world. So there's this very high vibrational feeling that I'm getting here for you, uh, single Virgos, and it's all about having to do with love. There's not there's not one card here during this last a quarter that is lower vibrational energy so i feel here for a lot of you this is all about um the culmination of whatever manifestation whatever dream that you've been wanting wishing praying visualizing in regards to love whether it's meeting someone whether it's uh getting into a deeper level of commitment or whether it is connecting with someone that you may have known from the past 
and they have reappeared and so now there's this new opportunity and new beginning thank you so much uh virgos uh click here on the lexa tarot logo to be part of my uh lexa tarot family and click over here where i'll have free more new messages for you take care and i'll see you soon Bye bye